Hi, I'm Karen Stever with the GGS Pros. In our series of videos for mum production, I'd like to talk to you today about cleaning and maintenance of your trip irrigation system in the mum field. This information can apply to other irrigation systems as well. But we're speaking of mum fields here, so here's a picture of one that has some obvious problems. Um, this might be a disease issue, but in this case it's not. This is from the emitters clogging up. And what that is causing is some plants are getting no water and no nutrition, but particularly no water, and they are just drying up, burning up, as you can see here. The cause of all this is a clog created due to the biofilm and the mineral buildup that happens in all water systems if we don't clean that out, at least periodically. The best time to clean our irrigation lines is before we put the mums out, but in the next slide we'll see that we have a few options once the mums are in place. So this is the time you want to clean your lines as well as that ground cover to have the best chance of disease-free and problem-free crops. The procedure for cleaning the irrigation lines is a two-step procedure, cleaning followed by sanitation. So we will do this two-step procedure only when there are no plants present. The cleaner cannot come in contact with the plants. The cleaner of choice is uh, Strip It Pro. We'll fill the water lines with the emitters on them Fill them until you see the cleaner is starting to come out of the emitters. Once you get there, just turn the water off and let that cleaner sit in the lines overnight. In the morning, rinse until no more foam is seen. Rinse a little bit more and then rinse through with a sanitizer. The sanitizers are listed below in the green section. You can have a choice of any one of them that you would like to use there. You can put the sanitizer in and fill the lines up, and then once that is, uh, once those lines are filled, you can leave that sanitizer in there for a while. But technically, these sanitizers need 10 minutes of contact time to actually do their job. That would be 10 minutes will be plenty, and then you can flush them out. In this case, we would flush that out the end of the line the, out of a flush valve instead of trying to go through the emitters because if it's a has a, been a dirty system or more clean, there's going to be a lot of debris coming out of it, especially with the cleaning step, uh, maybe a little at the sanitation step. If you see much coming out there, we may need to repeat. Once plants are on the line, we can do a cleaning if necessary. If you see clogs like I just showed, we can fill the lines with either Sanidate or Xeritol at the concentration shown. Let that sanitizer sit in there overnight. But these oxidizing sanitizers will eat away a lot of the algae and the biofilm. They won't clean up the mineral uh, scale that could be in your lines but they will do a pretty good job of cleaning and preventing the clogs when you're in a pinch. We would do this. Once again, with the amount of debris we expect, we would open up a flush valve at the end and flush the lines clean after doing those sanitizers. These sanitizers do not foam, so you won't be seeing anything coming out of the lines if there's no debris other than liquid. And then once your lines are clean by either one of these procedures, you can maintain them so that they won't develop clogs by doing a periodic maintenance, once every uh, two weeks or once every week, depending on your exact situation. And in that case, the concentrations are low enough. We can just fill the lines, give it the minimum of the 10 minutes contact time. Um, or it could stay overnight. But in this case, we, the lines are already clean. You won't need to flush it out the end. This can just be left in the lines and then go ahead and be delivered to the plants uh, with the next irrigation without any problems. That was the procedure for cleaning your lines. I hope you'll find it helpful. And thanks for your attention today. 
Should you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach me by email or by phone shown here, and I'd be happy to talk with you.